Hey LEGO fans, this is Mike T. Bricker coming at you with a special edition. Uh, this one goes out to Brick Barian who commented on the Little Calvary Christian Church uh, wanting me to open it up and show you the interior which I'm happy to do. This is my favorite creation um, as it was a great build. Uh, some of the things I'm going to show you here just with the, the stained glass windows here themselves. Um, those were, those took about an hour and a half to do. There are two of them. There's one on this side right here, um, and there's one on this side. Um, they were very, very intricate. Probably one of the most intricate things I've done with Lego. Um, a lot of uh, frustrations as those were built, but um, luckily I was building a church, so there wasn't too much profanity in there. Um, but uh, I'm going to open this up for you, show you how it's done. I'm um, going to give you a, a good view of the uh, roofing, the outlines of the roof. A lot of trial and error in the build. The instructions were good, but uh, as you can see here, um, this part was very difficult to build here. Kind of fits into this underneath this thing on the roof right here. And as you'll see in just a second here, to uh, get to the inside, I, you, this is a separate build right here, the bell tower. Um, as you can see the bell in there, um, this was a separate build. So we've got the uh, church opened up now and you can definitely see the inside. Uh, it's not like the Lego uh, modulars where they come out in sections. Uh, this one I had to take the roof off to get to the inside, but you can see a really good uh, uh, overview of the stained glass windows on the inside and how those were done. You can see that with the round clear pieces with the different color uh, one by ones and one by twos that were used to make those stained glass windows. Um, you can see the cross in the background. It's a, a really nice cross that uh, he used to use in his design. Uh, it, do, it does uh, go at a 90 degree angle to fit in the church really nice. And he's got the baptismal basin in here uh, for the baptisms. And uh, yeah, he's got a couple rows of pews on both sides. And he's got the upper pews. I don't know, maybe. Uh, someone of importance will sit up there, um, but uh, that's really about it. You can see the inside of these stained glass windows here. There was a bunch of those done. Those took a while to do because you've got nine of them on each one of those windows to make those give the appearance of the stained glass windows. Um, but uh, the roof line, as you're going to see, I'm going to try to attempt to put this back together, was the most difficult part. Um, and... I'm gonna to attempt to put this back together. If you do it and you treat it gently, it shouldn't be that difficult. Had some trouble in the first video we tried to do of, of the church here. Um, that's why you're gonna notice that it was a little bit pieced together. Um, but uh, those at the right angle should just push on. Um, as long as you're nice and gentle here. Um, and they're on. That pushes down here. The roof snaps back on fairly easily here. And then we'll get the steeple. The steeple, as you can see here, the steeple made use of these black bars here to kind of mesh in with the uh, roof line. Um, and then this goes back here. These took a while too because they're also on hinges and the instructions as good as they were they didn't really show where the hinges should go behind this so that was a lot of trial and error but in the end uh, works out well that goes right back in there the steeple uh, gets pressed down right here and you've got the church back together again just kind of straighten up the crosses a little bit uh, and there you go that is the little Calvary Christian Church uh, my favorite building in my city so far um, so uh, thank you uh, for uh, asking about that I was happy to do that and uh, we'll see you next time the roof here we'll put the other piece of roofing on here that fell that's okay we'll leave it in there for now <laughs> 